Okay, so flawless. I'm gonna well wait. Quick, dis I'm gonna. This is a disclaimer, Rama, for the beginning of the second episode, which is mm -hmm. that this was recorded on February twenty seventh, oh, um, yeah. and we know that that was weeks ago at this point. And the news, oh boy, is it different. But this is what we recorded, so have an incredible time. Oh yeah, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it, you whether it's lost. right or writer so old it could be extremely old and i have a feeling it is welcome to the bad boy pod talking bad boy bars make a good girl nuts with the bad boy swag having conversations at a bad boy mad sit down relax kick back have a blast enjoy the bad boy pod brought to you by lady pod um back to trump's alleged secret daughter it's like it was it was a New York Post sort of, it was a National Enquirer, New York Post-y sort of vibe the story was. So it could very well not be true, but I'm going to believe it because, you know, whatever. I choose to believe it. I yeah. mean, whatever. Not everything is true, but at the same time, it's like, if someone had a love child, it'd be Trump. 100%. But can you even call it a love child? Has anyone ever loved Donald Trump? Email Diane. No, but I feel like the world, the word love child implies like they had a baby outside of their marriage with the person they're having an affair with. Not necessarily just like, you know, a one time thing. I don't yeah, know what happened I mean, with Trump or Putin, but maybe it was just knows? a one time thing. It was, uh, yeah, whatever. I mean, it probably was a one time thing. Who knows? Yeah. Who literally yeah, You don't knows, go cause... back for seconds with Putin. <laughs> And that's that's the Putin promise. You really that's don't the go back. Putin for promise. He got a rock hard D. Can kill you. Um. Oh yeah, he did. He did. You know, Dream divorce. And like, isn't he such like a? Yeah. Oh no, I would run so far if that was divorce my... is hard. So poor Putin. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um. I'm looking up his kids. One of them does something called uh, rock and roll gymnastics or something Delicious. on the side. Yum, oh, yummy. Oh, I love a side gig. Very You're cool. a little far I mean, from your Micah Doodle ding dong. Am I? That's better. That's what I like. <laughs> Sorry, that was perverted. <laughs> it was. It really was. Putin kids. So one of them. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I really, really love rock and roll gymnastics. Can we put a video of rock? I mean, if we can find a video of Putin's kid doing rock and roll gymnastics, can we put in Wilmer Sliderama? Oh, yeah. It's if just not, like let's a... just put regular rock and roll gymnastics in. <laughs> You're right. We really should. It's just like not what I pictured for her being Putin's kid. Yeah. It just yeah. feels like he would have a lot of opinions and it's like f little fingers and everything. You know what I mean? Is it just like you flip around on a bar while Meatloaf plays? Like, I'm confused. <laughs> Uh, or is there is some other exactly element it oh, okay it's probably just like dance but like to rock and roll and music right it's like um, acdc <laughs> but i'm also my moscow standards like doing a balance beam <laughs> you're really right i mean i'm very curious she but that was like her big passion her other okay. well, i'm so glad job? you pursued it i don't remember her real job who well, cares it's irrelevant though? when you're a rock and roll gymnast that's your whole life <laughs> you're right <laughs> Um, and then the other, the eldest daughter is a little freakier because she is like a cool doctor, okay. but, um, she also like deals in genetics or whatever. Oh, so she, she's a little sketchy. She's like a sketchy betchy. Oh, okay. Um, I'm trying to find the exact is she paragraph that girl? I wanted to read. Like, <laughs> she's definitely okay. really Putin's little girl. Um, <laughs> She's his advisor. Okay. Yeah, to she's something. Definitely, she's definitely daddy's little girl. But the rock and roll gymnast isn't as much of daddy's little girl. No, probably not. Okay. A little bit more of a disappointment, I'm sure. Um, yeah. That's just me projecting, though. <laughs> just because she's a rock and roll gymnast doesn't mean she's not worthy of her father's love. You're right. So between 2013 and 2015, uh, she co-authored five studies, including, oh, sorry, her name is um, Katerina. Nope. Mm. Her name is Maria Vorontsova. And her okay. sister's name is Katerina Tikhanova. 
beautiful okay. names. Beautiful names. Um, <laughs> perfect names. Perfect pronunciation. Couldn't <laughs> done a better job. <laughs> so she was also married to a disgraced Dutch businessman. This is the eldest. Okay. Um, and she co-authored a book about idiopathic stunting in children. She's credited to be Putin's advisor in genetic engineering, especially in the usage of CRISPR to create oh. gen- genetically and engineered babies. So yeah. that is frightening. That is frightening. She's going to make a bunch of Putin's little girls. Putin's little babies. I mean, he would yeah. probably assume that he is the best um, definitely and so would watch mojo the youtube channel because they'd be like <laughs> hey guys let's talk about how putin's family is the hottest russian family <laughs> <laughs> you can you just know putin's sperm is strong like he is um <laughs> are we being too flippant about this literal dictator because i just want to be clear that he's horrible and what he does to people in his country and the countries around him is horrible you're right no you're uh, right you're really right a I lot mean, of people we're making... think he's like cracked mentally or something oh like really he's just had like, like a mental has... break oh i mean it's possible like, I it's mean, happened before but he's also been evil this people. whole time <laughs> but i've literally heard people on the news saying this man is having a mental break and you're just like i don't know if you can say that <laughs> <laughs> also like he has made horribly dangerous and evil decisions for way more than just the past 10 days yeah i mean it's been going on for so long and you know still he fly fishes and rides bears so yeah someone's giving him a pass one of the things on the watch mojo countdown was he caught a big he caught a big fish yeah that was literally one of them (laughs) i was like this is oh my god we'll definitely put an intern a couple screenshots in these slideramas we really will it feels like an intern put that together just to like yeah fuck with them oh yeah they really that was their big uh test when they were applying to work at watch mojo they were like here's a sample of what i can do (laughs) i'm really addicted to the presidency of uh (laughs) the russian empire (laughs) because that's what it is now and um um, oh also interesting mm -hmm. that like ceo from rakuten donated so much money (laughs) to who to the pre- well to ukraine and to be like oh um, for to be like fuck you aid. russia no more like this well in the vein of being like what is happening is a you know crime against humanity and it's like yeah, yeah. true every little war is a crime against- like these are war crimes <laughs> yeah they are and i think boris johnson dream man said um that he should <sighs> that he is a war criminal yes i mean he if really bj is. said it you know bj himself bj himself bj is pointing out war criminals look at him i know i know um not a great hairstyle uh on bj i think he just has to take it short you know i don't think he could handle having the bang he has bangs oh and my god i don't i don't funky think glasses watch for sure though boris yeah Ooh, he would look fabulous in funky glasses <laughs> Here we are being flippant about another perfect, <laughs> perfect, perfect leader. Um, no, they're all absolute shit. Um, and I guess, you know, we probably didn't solve anything here. Oh, no, I don't think we solved a single thing. Not we're a just single regurgitating. thing. Yeah, we're um, being real regurgitory birdies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's a real, it's a sad one. Man, it's a sad one. Man, it's a sad one, but also, no, no buts. It's a sad one. I was watching this um, awful live stream. I think I told you. Oh, and, yeah. The live streams um, are so freaky. They're really freaky. And, don't watch any if you have anxiety. Yeah, really don't. But one of them had volume on, but it was like a oh. newsroom for, I'm assuming, BBC or something, some kind of British station, because uh-huh. <laughs> it was all British people talking. And like, That's if comforting. you have headphones on, you can really hear the chatter. And this woman was just like crying. Well, you heard sniffling at first. And you're just like, what is that? Someone's really sniffle, sniff a magoo, sniff a uh-huh. magoo roo. No, yeah. so much. I don't know. Um, <laughs> right beside it, she was really sniffing. And then she was crying and like talking about how the sanctions are, are scary to her because her life's in Russia. So I guess like she had, mm. uh, her husband was in Russia or something. Mm-hmm. And her, but she's like British. It was so freaky to hear. And you're like, 40K people are watching this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it and was, that is a, wow, 40K? 
Yeah. That's a popular live stream. They were not being very careful. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've seen some things that like said that some of the live streams, quote unquote, are just are not actually live streams and they're just showing other footage from other horrible world events. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And then I Which saw is, something else like, that. Is that just so you can make money off the stream? Like that's so perverted. Very likely. Yeah. Ugh. It's very weird. And some of them I you can see like this. people walking in front of it yeah it's creepy it's very creepy it's creepy um yeah. anyway i hope that there can be a peaceful end to this and not millions and millions have to die for no reason yeah i mean for sure i just literally like literally who wants the war no one wants the war except poo poo magoo <laughs> except poo poo magoo yeah and yeah it's been wild to see all the all our like vloggers that we watch, like that mm -hmm. Russian family. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, I mean, literally everyone's saying the same thing, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's so sad. Yeah. So, I mean, I know there are a lot of people protesting in Russia and that's so fucking hard to do and brave because you risk literally everything, imprisonment, getting killed, I'm sure. So it's there are a lot of uh, people putting up the good fight, we should say, but it's tragic and horrible. I'm upset. Yeah, yeah. naturally. Drake's upset. Drake's if and when Drake's upset, you know, the whole world weeps. The whole world weeps. Um, let's shut the door on Vladimir Putin. Yeah. Shut the door, baby. Don't say a word. Um, oh yeah, no. Um, yeah, I I would put it in the highly unlikely category that Mark McGrath and Vladimir Putin have met. He's probably listened to his music. Oh yeah, Mark he'll McGrath, jam. I mean, he'll jam Putin. out. Oh okay, yeah. Okay, 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 um, okay. Do you think Mark McGrath has watched Putin's demo on judo? Ooh, maybe. He'd yeah, he was be trying impressed. to learn. He was trying he's to probably... learn in the beginning of the pandemic. <laughs> that and then he shared some like Putin. Putin. Oh my god, he mm. shared some Putin uh, memes in his day. I bet. Just like oh, what he thought sure. were really there funny. Are, there are some Putin memes out there. There are some hilarious Putin memes out there. <laughs> meme Killing queen. It, um, absolute meme queen, if you ask me. Totally. Who are your Guten Boysen? Oh, my Navy. Your Navy? Knocked on the door yesterday with <gasps> like a billion plants for me. Oh my God. Are they moving or know. something? No. It this was is like your friends are moving. No, different. Wow, what kind of, are we going to take a, for, like, are, we, are we putting a picture of the plants in Wilmer? Oh, I'll put one or two of them. We'll are see if cute? the violet blooms. I got a free, nice little African violet. Delicious. My oh, mom no, gave I, me an I, orchid. I had been thinking of one. I also got an orchid. I, I'm i not, okay, I like the flower itself. The plant, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I just They're too like, delicate. What's the end game here? What are you, some beautiful princess? Like, you have to grow this delicately. And like, so delicate. Although like I gotta say, to... this one is a very impressive looking orchid, but like it's not gonna be this impressive forever. Also, I don't even understand like how it's gonna keep growing. I just don't like the way the plant itself looks. You know what she's I mean? She's a droopy, I just don't like the... she's a bit of a droopy snoopy. It's not the droopy snoopiness. It's more like, it's just not a shape. It's like, it has more <laughs> dead air than shapeness. You know what I mean? It's not like a like a fern that's like a sideshow bob where you're like here's sideshow bob's head over my toilet perfect thing yeah 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 i don't really like them either but now i have one <laughs> and i'll just keep it until it dies you know that's exactly how i feel though it's like thank you for giving me this thing i don't this like plant that i'm too <sighs> like give me a kill bouquet a plant. i'd much rather have a bouquet than an orchid you're right i love I'm on the bouquet. same team love a book um okay so you got a beautiful violet and an orchid that you don't care about and a few cacti and a Ooh. few pothos and a few oh some other wow stuff, you got a else. good a good green load it was a huge green load i love to hear me. it oh yeah um <laughs> my good boy is that fucking ridiculous covid testing center it actually is the uh, it's the nicest, most pristine place I've ever been to in my entire life. It's in Los Fifi. It's called Same Day Health. And yep. it's completely 
I maybe we could find a picture and put I bet we could find a picture online and put it in Wilmer. Um, it's very new. It's very new. And it this looks was, like a spa. It looks like a fucking spa. Like, this was my good boy weeks and weeks ago, I think, when I got a it was for your brunch. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got a testorama, but mm-hmm. we went to their like shitty location when they were just in a crevice. But it was uh-huh. still very beautiful when you walk up because you're just like, oh my God, am I at a club? This is, have you been to the new location? No, but we've walked, by, walked by like 14 times this weekend. Where we're just like, oh, this just opened. That's so fucking weird that this just opened. And it literally looks like a spa. You're right. It looks like a fucking spa. You walk in, there's like, a row of curtained rooms that like that's where i got it went in and got my nose fucked and no doors just one no big doors storm. just <laughs> bit one human it's very open and they have a uh Gaping. screen with the menu of your different covid <laughs> testing options you can get a b12 shot oh delish oh right anyway i got a same day pcr because i have to get a covid test in order for them to cut my wrist into a beautiful ass <laughs> But they don't do it there? No, I have to get... No. Well, they could do it there, but I need to go. It needs to be, like, before I go. Wild. I know. You're right. Why can't they just do a rapid PCR when I walk in? Yeah. Or, like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you make a you make a compelling argument. Like, I'm going to a hospital. I'm not, like, getting... Te- I'm not going to go under in a place that doesn't have access to PCR testing. It's weird. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, Whatever. at least you're not getting your surgery at that same day health i mean it is one of the nicest places i've ever been and i would trust those women to do my wrist surgery <laughs> i would get a root canal at some day else, I, i'll admit oh absolutely. they gave me my first nose tickler and i would let them put their hands Your in first. me what can I okay say? delish i wonder what they're gonna do with the space not like covid's going anywhere but like what else are they like what else can same day health offer you know can they give me the wickedly talented <laughs> same day health <laughs> same day health can they give me you know flu shots can they give me like what what's the deal here i know that's what i was thinking too like going forward what are you going to provide like, but it's like what is your what business is... plan but again what is covid going to open up for businesses next not that covid has been amazing for businesses or anything um <laughs> sure. but like what will it create to be a new caveat in our life where we have something like a tested center tested testing center or that but the only shit, thing like, they do is COVID testing and B12 shots. I don't know. Because Maybe like we're going to have to like have masks secured to our face at one point. So we need to get like personal oh, face. Bullshit. Oh, you're right. We're, they're going to be bolded to our face shape. Yeah, or like maybe we're going to start getting vaccine vaccines through like lasers in our mm-hmm. eyes or something. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Literally. I feel like it they opened this thing up during Omicron because they were like, we're going to have to be testing people forever for so much. And they're really like probably 14 little booths, smooth booths to get your nose tickled in. It is my favorite thing to do to get a little tickler. Um, I will say this about the tickler is the Q-tip was large and dry i guess it would be gross if it was fucking wet but like it was just maybe my nose was just drier than normal i mean astute observation she didn't lube me up (laughs) enough beforehand i was dry they never lube you up enough um no but they shouldn't be i mean they're trying to get your mucus right i wanted her to rub the the tip of my nose yeah it's in my mucus i really hope i don't have covid um I mean, I you really want that wrist operated on. I can't. Yeah, I need my BBL, my BBLW. We want your wrist to have a nice round booty. And I want to put it, I want to, I want it to wear a thong. I want it to be up there. <clears throat> Do you have any other Guten Boys in? Probably not. I wonder yeah. if we could make this up into two. Yeah. Hmm. The wickedly talented. Delish. Um, Okay, let's move on to TV talk. TV talk, TV talk, everybody TV loves talk. TV talk. What a perfect song. What should we talk about? Thank you. Did we, I didn't even check if there was a law. Wickedly talented, Law and Order SVU. Are they back? Yeah, baby. Really boring oh episode. My God, I missed it. Okay, well, listen, a blessing. Extremely boring episode. I played Brick Out during the entire thing. That's how I can tell if it was a boring episode. Is if I played Wow, Zoe's still on Brick Out. I didn't know that about you. Yeah, you know what level I'm on? Tell us. 
I will. Oh, I also, will. I want to know, tell me your wordle percentage. And if you tell me it's a hundred percent, I'll jump out the window. It is. Um, it is a hundred percent. Really? Yeah. I've only missed two. Um, I'm on level 1,154. Oh my God. Uh, we'll take a screenshot of whatever that, whatever brick okay. out looks like. Yeah. It's, I'll brick take brack? a brick out. Brick what, out. What is it again? It's brick, brick out. out, not brick brack. Um, Wordle. Yeah. Let's see. Is I know brick it's brick real? I know it's a hundo bundo. Yeah. A hundred percent win. I've played 52 games. My current streak is 46. We'll put her fucking streaks in the slimer, I guess, okay. because I don't know what mine is because I still haven't started for the day. Oopsie boopsie. Streak in, a, streak in the slimer. That's fun. I like to do that. I like a little competition. Not really. I hate competition. It's stressful. I out. know. I've only lost two. That sucks. Was <laughs> it like they've really, they're really on one lately? It was my first two because I didn't know what I was doing. So I've okay. been forever ruined. But they really started fucking up with British words. And you're just like, like, what is a swill? I have no idea. Like, how did I even guess this word? They did tacit, tisset, a tacit. Tacit. They did bloke. Bloke. I think. Bloke was one of the weirdest ones. I was like, okay, jolly chap. It was just like, you guys. I know. Like, not right now. Not right now. We're at war. We're at in war the world. in the world. And I can't deal with a fucking bloke or a tacit or a swill or a jolly or whatever the fuck. It's true. Like, please don't swill me. No words that have J's in it, please. I don't have a time for no this. Words. No double letter. Repeatings. No double letters. Like... Don't double repeat either with the same letter. There was one oh, vivid. Vivid. Vivid I actually got because I had started, well, I got it on my third because I started the first word uh, and I got the D on the first word or whatever. And I was like, you can't be that D, many baby. words. Got that thing. And... Um, oh. I think I got that one in five. Like, I don't think I did it. It wasn't I think bad. I got the ID or something. It was like Ooh. something very telling. It just took Huge me a mistake. very. It just takes me a really long time. Listen, if you use the same word every day, I just think it's harder. That's not true. But so because is word I already word know. Word. I already know that if I do snare and it has none, then I do touch, and if I have no touch, then I do milky baby. <laughs> I cannot. These are your three big words. I love it. I mean, the thing is, like, after snare, I do touch, after I do snare and touch, usually there there's a letter. So milky only happens if there's not nothing in snare or touch, and usually there's something in snare or touch. But for I mean, vivid, I had to go milky. I really, really <laughs> love that you have a whole like attack plan like you're basically putin you were basically <laughs> vladimir putin um yes it's true you're, I'm, i shouldn't compare you to a literal warlord but yeah um but i do have a plan when it comes to wordle you're right and, and i don't i just go in there free willy-nilly yeah you go whatever in there words come to mind i love that though for you we're just but i try not to use i'm not going to use like a word that's like you know like silly where i repeat the same letter twice that's yeah, yeah, silly yeah yeah you're not going to be like, I yeah, sure. yeah, I try to get as many vowels in sometimes. I'm just like, yeah, just tell me which vowels. Fucking I feel are. like your first guess at, has to have at least two vowels. You're right. My name is Diane. Diane. My name is Diane. That's Diane. a Diane promise. She has three vowels. She is a vowel hoarder, baby. She's a vowel queen. You have three vowels. Oh, my God. You yeah, don't. I don't. <laughs> you just if I had three wow. vowels, my name would be exclusively vowels, baby. Two thirds of your name is vowels. That's so true. That's so hot to think about. Um, I love to think about it every day. Are there only day. pure vowel names? Probably pure vowel names. Email Diane in English. She's really thinking about it. Eh, any language. I, there ha I mean, I guess I mean, in Latin, yeah. to us would be different to someone else. So that maybe, maybe doesn't make sense. But whatever. Listen, I'm not. A I think language why person. there are there must be. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know everything about last names. I don't know every last name in the world. But I hope the name Oi exists. <laughs> Here's open. Um. Wait. Okay. Should we talk about Love Is Blind? Oh my God! Yeah. You watched all the weddings. Shakarama. Not really. I, but yes. I mean, I watched for, all. I love Deep D. 
Me too. And I was so just... glad when she left that fucking nerd. I didn't honestly did not take like it took me a while to realize what a nerd he was. I didn't like that he, the entire time he was like, she's like my best friend, but I don't want to fuck her at all. I'm like, why are you telling? We talked about it last week that he had that conversation with his mom that was like, I don't want to fuck her. Yeah, I know. But like, I didn't realize how spiteful he was. Yeah, it was really nasty the way he handled being turned away at the altar. <laughs> like he literally like there was no way in hell that he was going to say no. We know that. Yeah. We literally know that. And yeah. I think it's even worse that he was like, it's when indecision, it's when indecision, oh my God, it's when indecision hurts you more in the long yeah. run yeah. than like just biting it off, you know, just like taking the initiative because it's like, mm -hmm. you're going to get yourself in it. You're lying, you know? And of course I'm rooting for the two couples who said yes, um, who oh. said, yes, I do. Um, perfect couples. Perfect couples. Ayana... You know, I just want Ayana to be happy. And if she's happy with Jarrett, I'm happy. And I hope that he treats her well. And, um, but I, yeah. you know, he was probably going to propose to somebody else like two weeks earlier. So it's hard to it's... just forget about that. Yeah. I mean, love is not real, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, so... And the other ones were smart about their decisions. So the it's like cute. smart about their decisions. And I really liked yeah. to see that. That is literally the only outcome that was good where it's just like, oh, they had a nice conversation where it was like, oh, I don't actually want to marry you right now, but maybe we should go on a date. Yeah, oh, Mallory and Sal. Healthy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they're going to last, but yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely. But not. that was a lot healthier than anything that happened. Shane and Natalie. Yeah, it's true. It oh, was my God. A, well, um, Shane and Shayna, are well, they going to, yeah, are I they for they get, I would love if in the reunion because there's a reunion next week that is the only thing that's gonna happen can't wait to watch it when i'm bedridden um <sighs> oh poor zoe poor me honestly really at the end of the day poor me um do you have any other tv talks wait did i watch the boeing documentary have i talked about that i've watched most of it i couldn't finish it all because that shit is fucking one. sad as hell and it makes me it scared is. to ever step foot on an airplane again i know i'm glad there are other airline companies out there i, guess, I know but i'm like, flying somewhere time. i'm flying somewhere in may and i checked to see if it was a boeing 737 max and it's not oh, God. <laughs> is it a bombardier no it's an airbus oh okay boeing 737's Whatever. max big feud um oh, god yeah well, there if you want to watch like a really sad oh. documentary about plane crashes and capitalism and the beautiful combination of the two you should probably yeah. watch this Boeing doc on Netflix, but if that sounds really sad and boring, then don't. And overworking people and kind of being oppressive. So being very, <laughs> being very oppressive and purposely ignoring safety so that they could make money on the stock market, honey. It's kind of sad. I mean, it is very sad. And you don't yeah. really think of, I mean, yeah, sure. Everyone thinks of planes failing, but I yeah. think the ultimate thought is that sure, it's never gonna actually fail <sighs> yep i don't know i don't know why you would want to profit off something like that but people do me neither beaver yummy, um yummy. Yummy, what else yummy. did we watch Nanny fiance oh poor natalia by the way she got her mom out of ukraine so that's good oh good yeah i know there are a lot of 90 day fiance people in the ukraine and i hope they're okay is it i should just say in ukraine i don't know why i keep saying the ukraine yeah, apparently it's, I know, it, like, I'm, I feel gaslit by, like, the news because some people say the Ukraine and they also say, I think, because they've, I feel like I've been saying Kiev. Kiev. Like, my entire Kiev. life. And then it's Kiev all of a sudden. But I don't think it's actually <laughs> Kiev. I think people I think just say Kiev. Kiev. I think it's Kiev. Yeah. Kiev. However I guess we're going to have to rewatch 90 Day Fiance to figure it out. Literally, literally. Yeah. But like, I, I remember listening to, I I feel like I tried to watch a Ukrainian person uh, say it and I was just like, yes, that it is. And then I forget yeah. it every single time right after. I'm just like, wait, which one is it again? I know. So, I have no whatever. idea. The oh, and we forgot cat. to mention that Kiersey Alley said um, something stupid about the war and then her dance partner from Dancing with the Stars, who I guess is Ukrainian or Russian, Amazing. I'm not sure, called her out and was like, you're dumb. <laughs> I was I... like, hey, I know we haven't talked in a while, but this is uneducated and bad. 
That is good. Yeah. I'm so glad that they did that. I love it. was like um, on their Instagram story. Clap back. Uh, good. <laughs> flawless, flawless comeback to Kirstie Alley. I, I overheard some woman in the neighborhood uh, talking about how she lived next to Kirstie Alley. <gasps> and I was like, why would you brag about that? That is a weird brag. Um, really weird brag. Dream neighbor? Very old. So She would not bring you plants. Those are my two dream neighbors, Kirstie Alley on one side, this German woman on the other. Delicious. Delicious neighbors. Um, Delicious I don't have neighbors. any other TV talks. Is that messed well, up? You know, classic 90 Day Fiance. I've just been watching and watching it. Oh, yeah. Um, but nothing. Oh, my God. They're having. Did you want. You're... Are you caught up or no? On what? Because they're having like Day? a David Rising. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Mahogany showed up. Mahogany's there. Do you think she's like, real? There's like a big conspiracy theory on the subreddit that she is an actress. That I mean, that was the thir- first thing that Carlos said. He was like, he, he said they're both actors. I was like, no, I think Mahogany's the actor. I think he's for real, but definitely a weirdo. But I don't think he's an actor. <laughs> but if if she was an actor, then why wouldn't she tell him that she loves him? I don't know. I think it's it's so weird. She acted very weird. It was weird. It is reality TV, so maybe that is actually how you should be acting if you are uncomfortable on television. Who knows? Literally, do you think? Knows? Can we do a or side by side? Can we do a side by side of the photos that um, he that the photos that he was? Well, okay. So she obviously had extremely filtered photographs on her online dating profile that attracted is his name Ben in the first place. Um, should we do probably. a side by side of those airbrush photos and then the woman who showed up at the restaurant? It looks like a totally different woman, honestly. It did, but they also did a really good. If it's an actor, they did a really good job casting. Amazing casting job by 98 Fiance crew. Right. Um, but if it's a real person, then it looks like a completely different person. <laughs> it definitely looks like a, her airbrush shirt or airbrushed one looked like it should be on a shirt. Oh my God. Remember that mm. couple? More where couple. he literally um it was oh i love you so um, much that was zaid and uh zaid zayed zayed and annie no i forget her name Emily. i'm sorry and listen all yeah. due respect i forget your name i think this could be a double double it's a huge one i don't know how we did this for this long a real putin arama i guess a real putin arama um okay great now whoop a boop 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 <clears throat> Well, now we're at the end of the podcast. What a great time. I mean, oh my God. Listen, <laughs> yeah. every day waking up is a joy. Oh, um, so I make my silly little coffee. Mm. Um, I foam a rama my my little creamer. I love and to hear I about s- your foaming. And on my tukus and I watch the news unfold. Uh, and um and you know, it's just like that meme. Every single meme where people keep saying that they 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 hate living through oh they hate living it? through pr- unprecedented times oh, oh what it would be like to live through precedented times if i see that joke one more time i'm going to walk into a precedented car <laughs> because walk square honestly into a precedented car <laughs> <laughs> and the newest one was like i hate living through unprecedented times and it's a woman and she's in a room of plants and it's like okay <laughs> okay what this is a new yorker cartoon not even this is oh. a terrible meme another terrible meme. perfect meme from my favorite world that we're all living in one of the best worlds out there baby honey bunches of oats honey bunches of anyway. oats good cereal honestly great we just literally I bought agree. some Agree. it's really underrated Ooh, i don't know if we should it's like are they kellogg's or what now i haven't even thought about it Email Diane. Oh, are they problematic? I could not look it up myself. I can't tell. I can't okay, tell. Okay, well, problematic or not, a solid cereal. Listen. I, I'm not saying anything about the, um, you know, what the owner is like, what the company is like, just s- based on the facts alone, the grains and the brands and the honeys and the nuts. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's like perfect. If I had it my way, mm-hmm. I'd walk into my front yard and there would be a man there. And he would just be making his own cereal and I would get it from him. Yeah. And then there would be no one involved and there would be no unions and there would farm be nothing table, for me. Farm to table cereal. <laughs> I would have zero complaints. Julia wants people her. People exploiting other people. But she here wants her we are. own cereal farmer. 
I want a cereal farmer. I just want to know that everything I eat is from a from a good source that hasn't murdered people. I agree with is that. Is that so much to ask, world? I, it's a lot to ask, apparently. Listen. Yeah. Well, Do not I, okay. sanction honey bunches of oats ever. Please don't. I would say that email Diane at badboypod.com. What do you think of Honey Bunches of Oats? And any other cereal? <laughs> yeah, I do too. That's my review. Um, I agree. Also, your bad boys on the block, your good boys. Maybe there's a bad boy mm. you want us to talk about. I can't imagine there is. But imagine if there was, you could email Diane at badboypod.com. Is there a cereal that really grinds your gears? Ooh, maybe you have like an inside story about Alec Baldwin or like Marky Mark Wahlberg that you really want to share with the world. Yeah. I'd really like to know anything about Marky Wahlberg. I could possibly know. Yeah. I really want to be the go-to source on Marky Mark Wahlberg. So email Diana at com if you have any intel. Um, follow us at Bad Boy Podcast because your ratio, your Instagram following follower ratio is not that important. So give us a follow. That's true. And also, yeah, send Zoe wishes to her special wrist. To oh, Diane, yeah. And she'll pass them along to Zoe, obviously. Yeah, she will. She will. Um, yeah. Please send me something so nice. And then... Uh... <laughs> Diane. Perfect harmony. <laughs> Thank you. Um, did I say that you should shop .com for a You Heard It Last t-shirt? Oh. My favorite website. I love it. It's one of the best websites. I absolutely love Tee Public. Perfect platform for selling merch. My um, t-shirt didn't even smell. So Julia's t-shirt didn't smell. The website what is you've heard. so easy to navigate. And um, <laughs> definitely no annoying pop-ups every time you go to the site. So I think you're going to love it there. Um, we it love is. it. We love it. Leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts or a one-star review. Just kidding. Um, why would you waste your time with that? It makes no sense. Like, keep that to yourself and go cry about it in your shower. <laughs> Listen, please. Please. And that's an invitation. I just, I welcome a one-star review if you're going to cry in your shower after. Yeah, you're That sounds right. worth it. That's worth it for the release. I think if that's what, if we can help you achieve that release, I'm glad to, <laughs> you know. Please. Please. I would love means. to aid in that, in your oh, recovery. Yeah. Me too, me too. I think that's it though, right? I don't know. I'm always yeah. missing something, but, you I think know. we've said everything possible in the, in the world, honestly. You're right. We've covered every base. <laughs> Truly. I think we, and we also solved everything. Yeah, so, Flawless cool. Podcast and Kevin James signs off on it, I think. So Kevin James uh, is a news anchor. Wow, we're like news anchors today. Thank you. I think this is like our first, well, other than like Trump, who we're just like, yeah, we can talk shit about the president or whatever. But like, yeah, I think it's like our first huge newsy boozy. Yeah, this was a news. Like a this was, look, this was a newsy boozy for sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, around. we'll be back to our... It was such an Alan research wits. And we'll be back to our regularly scheduled perverts, um, you know, short, soon, soonly and shortly, I would say. Yeah, I can't wait for it. Spring, baby. Ooh. Brought to you by Lady Pods. Ah, delicious double podcast.